Hyenas is a film about post-colonial economies, consumerism, and revenge set in a small town in Senegal called Koloban. The film kicks off by introducing Draman Drame, the owner of the town's general store and most popular guy in town. He's so popular, in fact, that the town's council, consisting of the mayor, professor, doctor, Mr. Drame himself, and several others, established that he will become the town's new mayor once the current one steps down. The town itself is in a state of agonizing poverty, uh, one of the several scars left on the town by the French. Everything is bought on credit. Citizens use French titles such as Monsieur or Professeur. Buildings are falling into disrepair, and horse-drawn carts greatly outnumber any motorized vehicles. Seemingly out of the blue, a parade of men strolls through town, announcing the imminent arrival of Lingir Ramatu, an extremely wealthy Koloban expat and Drame's ex-lover from 30 years prior. Upon her arrival to the town, Drame welcomes her and her entourage back to Koloban, although she is not overly sentimental upon seeing him again. Soon after her initial appearance, it is revealed that Ramatu was exiled from Koloban after Drame impregnated her and refused to claim responsibility for their child, and she became a world-class prostitute. After meeting with Drame, Ramatu holds court in Koloban, facilitated by a justice, whose loyalty she bought some time before. Her history is revealed to the town, and she mentions that her child died within a year of its birth, showcasing to the town that Drame had an undeniably negative impact on Ramatu's life, and also that in the 30 years since her exile, Koloban has fallen to dire straits. So, Ramatu makes a proposal to Koloban. She offers her wealth, worth $100 billion to the town, in order to revitalize its economy and bring prosperity and a higher quality of life to the people of Koloban. In exchange, they must kill Draman Drame. The mayor and other council members firmly decline this proposal, and Ramatu says she will remain in town for a while in case they change their minds. However, throughout the rest of the film, Drame meets with several townsfolk, all of whom have recently acquired new items of luxury. Fine clothes, appliances, a crystal chandelier in the church, the finest cigarettes at his store. All of these items are bought on credit. Drame questions the townspeople again and again if they plan on killing him or if he has their loyalty, and each time they reassure him that they will not kill him in exchange for Ramatu's wealth. All the while, the people of Koloban begin to admire him less and less, as they are reminded, each time they speak with him, of his crimes against Ramatu. This comes to a head when the townsfolk hold a carnival in town, complete with a ferris wheel, automobiles, and a showcase of expensive appliances like fans, air conditioners, and refrigerators. Drame attempts to flee town on a train, but is surrounded by council members and other townsfolk as he tries to board it. His luggage is thrown on the ground, the door to the train is blocked by people, and any time he protests, they insist he is free to go. Ramatu watches all of this, slowly witnessing her revenge against Drame unfold. Soon after the carnival, Drame is approached by the professor in an inebriated state, who tells him they fully intend to protect him, but will inevitably be swayed by Ramatu's wealth in the face of extreme poverty. Eventually, the professor and doctor meet with Ramatu at her palace, saying that the town has amassed a hefty debt as they have purchased innumerable items on credit, and ask her to invest in the local economy as opposed to having the town kill Drame. She declines. The town council members approach Drame and tell him he can flee town or face trial. He insists on standing trial and accepts that he will inevitably be judged guilty by the town and killed for Ramatu's wealth. He borrows a car and goes to visit Ramatu one more time to try to change her mind to no avail. He drives to a clearing where the townspeople have gathered for his trial. The townsfolk have now donned wigs that look reminiscent of the powdered wigs French justices wore back in the 17th and 18th centuries and they begin his trial. The mayor states his crimes and asks the crowd if they find him guilty and whether or not he should die for his crimes. The town closes in on Drame, slowly encircling him as Ramatu's justice watches from a cliff. Drame is reduced to a single, dusty jacket crumpled on the ground and the townspeople walk off in all directions. Ramatu then descends into what looks like a tomb, having finally gotten her vengeance. Hyenas is an allegory for post-colonial economies and power structures, and subsequently illustrates the perils of consumerism. Although consumerism is not inherently necessary to anyone's continued survival, it is a tool that governments and corporations utilize to make entire nations dependent on them. In Koloban's case, Ramatu facilitates the purchase of numerous appliances, high-quality goods, and entertainment for the town. Unfortunately, since the townspeople do not possess the means of production for these things, they are beholden to Ramatu and reliant on her for their continued prosperity. This, in turn, coerces them into murdering Drame. Mambati depicts this power imbalance through the use of numerous low-angle shots of Ramatu throughout the film to show her power over Koloban, as well as high-angle shots of the townspeople to show their powerlessness compared to her. Such tactics have been used, and still are, 
by post-colonial nations in order to continue to oppress and exploit nations they once colonized. By making the country's economy dependent on their imports, the foreign power can maintain control over their economic activity, stealing any means of production and real prosperity from the people of the country they've invaded. Hyenas is a powerful, thought-provoking film. Many of the themes depicted in this film are applicable still in the modern day. For instance, consumerism is the foundation of Western society, as exploitative and destructive as it is. Post-colonial economies exist across the world, although some are perpetuated by large companies such as Tesla or the Dole Fruit Company, as opposed to government agencies. In societies where people are exploited by companies and governments in extraction economies, is there any ethical method of earning money and thus survival? Were the people of Coloban right to kill Dramé to escape the extreme poverty they faced? Given the circumstances of her exile and return, was Ramatu justified in exacting her revenge against Drame and Koloban in such a brutal, crushing way? Hyenas may not answer these questions directly, but the film may help you come to an answer. Thank you for watching.